There's nothing better than baking your own bread at home, but it can go wrong. Hi Paul, I'm having trouble with my loaf. Can you help? This is an underproved bread. There's a tear there and a little tear there. That's an indication that the bread inside will be very, very tight, which means when you've been proving your loaf, you haven't proved it long enough. Now I'm going to show you how to make a really good loaf of bread. To start with, you need a good flour. In here, I have some gorgeous, strong white flour. That's the key thing. Don't use the plain flour. Into which I'm going to add some fast action yeast. That goes to one side. On the other side, I'm going to add my salt. Mix the yeast in first, then the salt, and then the whole thing together. Now I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. You can use a little bit of butter if you wish. Olive oil mixes in, then cool water goes straight in. Roughly add about half to start with and mix it in with your hands. Then a little bit more, another half again of what's left in the bowl. Mix it round again. And I've still got a little bit of residue of flour down at the bottom there, which this will be picked up by the last bit of water. And I think that's pretty much done. It's come together as one lump and there's no flour left in the bowl. A little bit of olive oil on the bench. Lift your dough up and pop it in the middle of the olive oil. Coat it in the olive oil and then begin to form a little ball just by folding it over like this. The more that you work this dough, the better your bread will be. And that is what I'm looking for. It's lively, it's soft, and it's smooth. That will go back in the bowl that you mixed it in, saves washing it up, and cover it up with a bit of cling film. Do not try and find an airing cupboard or put it on top of your oven. That superheats it, and then you lose the flavor in the bread. So nice, slow proving. Now I've been resting the dough for about an hour. I'm gonna bring this dough out smells slightly fermented, which is what you want. Now, I need to shape this dough. Flatten down the dough, take the, all the air out. Fold over the top, fold over the sides, and then roll it up, as if you're doing a sausage roll. And then just roll it up, like so. You've got little bits at the end which you can flatten down and just tuck underneath. So you end up with a beautiful, smooth dough with one line running down the middle. If that line comes to the side, as it proves up, it rips there, and as it bakes, it will rip there. Get your baking tray, which has been lined with baking parchment, not greaseproof. Greaseproof sticks. A little bit of oil underneath to make sure the paper stays flat. So lift up your dough, pop it on there, and then you can cover it up in a plastic bag and leave it to prove. Now, how long do you prove it for? Well, if I'm talking about the average kitchen, it would take about an hour. Touch it and it will spring back. It'd be nice and light. Bake it off around 220 for about 30 minutes. This will create a beautiful crispy loaf on the outside. If you prove your bread properly, you end up with a beautiful loaf like that. And you can see how smooth it is all the way around. And one line down the middle. That is a gorgeous loaf. This one, I don't want to see any more loaves looking like that. You'll have me to answer to. For advice on baking in the classroom, visit grainchain.com.